Hi everyone, welcome to MindDesk for SolidWorks. Let's go over a few examples of how we can leverage this VR software within the model interface. Take this motorcycle for example. I can launch the MindDesk plugin simply by clicking the top left button here. We know that the front can move, so we can go ahead and mount it, grab the fork, and start moving around the steering wheel. Shifting to the back, I can grab the back wheel and show the range of motion of the spring, as well as being able to rotate the tire while it pumping up and down. Next, let's look at a five-cylinder propeller engine with a singular rotation that affects all the internal gears. I'm able to change the transparency live while also rotating around and even exploding it into an axon form. Not only that, but I'm still able to rotate the actual propeller while it's in an exploded axon form. This is really easy to see how all the gears interact with each other. Let's take a turn for a very innovative machine that recently came out, the Icon Explore Bike. This machine is able to go on all sorts of terrain. Zooming in within the SOLIDWORKS framework, I'm able to move the front wheel while also seeing it adjust within the headset. Next, I can isolate the very dynamic axle, moving it left and right with ease. Let's now take a step into a sci-fi realm and check out this Terminizer model. Right away, I can zoom in and see all the intricate detail that's laid within this model. Turning on the transparency, I can see how they interconnect. And taking it one step further, I can explode the model, seeing how the symmetry interacts with itself. After shifting around, I'm able to grab the top Gatling gun and move it around left and right. Similarly, going to the bottom, I can take the smaller snipers and shift those left and right. Lastly, I can turn to the side and see how agile the legs move up and down. Continuing this robotic theme, let's jump into this robot arm that has 5 degrees of freedom. Knowing all the joints are dynamic, I can zoom into the SOLIDWORKS model and position the joints and pieces exactly how I want them. In fact, I've set it up so once I go into the VR, I can introduce myself and shake its hand. After which, I want to manipulate all the joints to see exactly how they interact with each other. I can pivot the top hand and have it spin and rotate at the same time with a slight change in my wrist. Having this level of control with very little movement on my part is really powerful. And now for a send off, I'll have him wave goodbye. Thanks everyone and stay tuned for more Mind Desk updates.